Greetings, salutations, and welcome to today's video. So, Tesla News Desk, what's going on today? Well, first thing, there's Hexagonlet. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on in. Deck size has been reduced to 30 or 45 cards, for two color and three colors respectively. Use up to six copies of any card, and you have the full collection. I think this is the third time we've done this gauntlet. Win rewards, packs, so nothing overly useful here. So if you need to skip one because you need to conserve tickets, this is the one to skip. So, what decks have we put together? Give me a second for it to load. All right, scrolling, 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 scrolling. First one, Hex Assassin. So, Piercing Twilight, pretty huge in this gauntlet. We've discussed it before. And the idea is, well, if you've got six copies, it'd be a shame if all of them got uh, banished. I mean, oh no, what are we gonna do? Well, this is all about using Piercing Twilight, but using Gates of Madness so that you can't be piercing twilighted back. In order to get it out, we are running Palace Prowlers, Moon Sugar Smugglers. The idea being you just throw one of those down on turn one, either pilfer or trade, and then throw down a Gates of Madness turn two. Quantities, oh, let me pull up my notepad. Six of each. I guess I could have counted them that there's only five cards, and just there's the premium like that. Uh, Bandari, if you have a Bandari in hand, when you play your Gates of Madness, then you're able to play Bandari afterwards and start cycling Bandaris in, in addition to your Gates of Madness triggers. Uh, with six of them in play, theoretically you should always have one of each card available to you on start. So that's deck one. Card counts will be in description. Deck two. Oh, did I put together two Battle Mages? They are both Battle Mages. Well, go figure. I didn't write down the class. So here's the second one. Again, six of each. However, this one goes for a Relentless Raider combo. The idea being just horde raiders in hand, play them, break a rune, go crazy. For control, we've got Forked Bolts. Ghostgate Defenders is our primary playable card. Alits to weaken them. And then Prophecy Lightning Bolts, just so that we've got a little bit of reach, a little bit of reactive control. And yeah, tries to end the game not super fast, tries to kind of hold on for combo while controlling down other aggro lists, wearing them out. It's probably not the best Battle Mage list, but it's one that I like, so it stays. If I were to make another version of this, I'd probably replace this with uh, Firebrands, Scimitars. I might keep the Elites, but... Because, I mean, turn one, just throw down a Firebrand Scimitar. Turn two, Firebrand Scimitar Scimitar. Go to town. So that leaves deck three. Deck three is not a new construction. It's one that we had success with before. It is a tinkering nope deck. So, oops, just removed one of those. Uh, so if you're up against, say, a market deck, then Stampede Sentinel just says no to market. You can't be damaged by actions or supports. You're just like, yep, deal with it. Then for shenanigans, we've got Barrelzar's Tinkering to play off of Prophecy Dark Harvesters. We've got Balmora Spymasters for sacrifice efficiency. Then Midnight Trespassers to consume things out of our graveyard to prevent getting Piercing Twilighted. I think it's an interesting deck. I know we had success with it before, so as usual, codes will be down below. Codes. Card counts. Because, uh, can't do codes for these small things. Two things left on our agenda. Tournaments. Should have had these open in tabs beforehand. Same ones we talked about before. We have the Jelly Tournament upcoming. Then we have this, I believe that was Simple Tournament. Let me see if it tells me, oh, they ditched the English. So I don't actually know what the rules are this time around. Oh, we're just gonna Google, we're just gonna Google this. That's, that's not gonna end well, but we're just gonna Google it. All right, take two. Only two flowers are involved. And we play only the declared class. Decks within a class can be changed. Only two flowers are involved. 
If you are interested, reach out and speak Russian. Reach out to the person running the tournament, and I'm sure they will clarify that for you. So yeah, join those tournaments. Tournaments are always fun. Jelly's tournament coming up. Participate if you can. I already know ahead of time. I sadly will be unable to. But go over there. Hang out with Jelly. She's an amazing person. All right. If all you cared about was that, you can head out now. Because what we've got left is the new card. The thing we skipped at last news desk. When you summon a creature in this lane, if it is full, Dark Mane moves. When Dark Lane moves, it gains plus two plus zero and drain this turn. Note if you move multiple times within the same turn, you keep adding plus two plus zero. So I've resurrected an old move scout we had. Move scout, move monk. Here's the deck. Uses wilds and rasm to refill. Uh, double swift strike, triple monk strike. Otherwise, pretty standard move deck. Let's go ahead and see if we can slip in some gameplay. How long have we been going? I'm trying to watch our time so we don't... Oh, we've only been going seven minutes? Yeah, we got time for a game or two. I wanted to rush through everything we had at the beginning so we could get a game at the end. Now let me look and see if I've got a kitty in the room. Oh, I do. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pivot this to here. We set up a cat trap. Marcus, you look in the wrong way. Um, it's not a terrible opener. We're up against Assassin, so Dark Main with Drain is going to be good. Though I think we're gonna open Wild Boar. Double Dark Main. I assume this is Burst. Greetings. Greetings, citizen. The Dune Smuggler is a nice pickup. Now I just need a way to start moving the mains. Behold, my magnificent monster. I'm gonna let Boar go back, and then I'm gonna Dune Smuggler over. Let's do the fish stick. Or now nah, we're just gonna take the trade. Okay, we're gonna see. So I know if you play a Dune Smuggler and move a creature to a full lane, the other ones will move. What I don't know what'll happen is. Oh, Let's can I get a cheap, cheap stick. card? It's not exactly what I was looking for. We must keep moving. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. This one's claws with caterpillar. I assume he's got prophecies, that's why I'm just going ahead and grabbing the twelve drain at the beginning. This one's claws with caterpillar. This one's claws with caterpillar. I do not fear death. As far as turns go, not terrible. <laughs> oh. We've got the monk strike. Let's do the fish stick. Get wrecked, M16. Kajit does not have time for your shenanigans. Having this in another lane, I mean, obviously, aside from making it so it can't trade, lets me Monk Strike over if need be. And we're just gonna Monk Strike Let's this way. The fish stick. Ah. Nice 
Boop! Boop it to Snoot! Farkas! Farkas, we boop to Snoot! Far Farkas Kitte! Farkas! 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 Get a! Get a! Kitty's out cold. Kitty doesn't care. Kitty's like, other kitties are doing their job. Kitty has no reason to do anything. I don't even have any, like, any of his toys nearby that I can just, like, loft up and land on him. Double checking. Every now and then he'll drop something over here. What's this? Uh, it's not something I should use. We're okay. Alright, Monk Mirror. Please be- wow, please don't be move Monk Mirror if he's got ring. <laughs> We do run fence to start cheapening things. Again, I kind of like Boron too. Then we're gonna fa play fence on three, fence on four, as it currently stands. Escort is nice if we can get our other three drop first. All right, not that other three drop. The little piggy who could. He's a two drop two three. Then he's gonna be a two drop three three. Then a four three. Then a five three. Cause he's never gonna die. He's a pig. Pigs don't die. Hold the line. Oh, that's uh unfortunate for him. Think it's worth dying for. Going after. We're setting up for a double East March play next turn. And Pig, I think it's bacon time. East March Crusader went hunted in the farmlands. Brought himself back some bacon. Scabalio 85. I know you're not copying my deck. But thus far you've only played cards that I play. I don't run that one. That one's new. Ooh, that's tempting. I think we take the card draw, though. Hold the line. There are All right, new plan. Think it's worth dying for. Think it's worth dying for. I'm gonna hold on to main. Being able to shift all of our creatures over to shadow is what made the difference for me not wanting to double east march. I wonder if dark main summon triggers itself. If it counts as summoning to a full lane. Size alone belies this ah, your wax wane monk. It's a wee bit too late, I fear. I've got lethal on board with swift strike in hand. Okay, you get the trade. Uh, you wanted to break the other one. Do we play the safe and take the trade? Uh, no, we don't, because I've got lethal now. Think it's worth dying for. Nice try. Die, skin. Easy clear. Move monk superior to Wax Wayne monk. Wax Wayne monk with ring. We got 10 out of 10 expert level plays here. I like this deck. I've won all four games with that deck. Because uh, I was practicing before I made sure it was good. We got to name it something. We're going to name it. I know what we're going to name it. We're going to name it. Boop. Da snoot. Boop da snoot. Because we've got uh, pig snoots and kitty snoots. And uh, moose snoots. I think moose are too big to have a snoot. I believe snoots need to be small. Also, moose are massive. I'm not sure if I want to even... If we assume it is called a snoot, I'm not sure I want to get close enough to boop it. But... 
Also, if it's a wild incarnate, that makes it a uh, Hercene. And do gods have snoots? There's your theology question of the day. Do gods have snoots? And can they be booped? I mean, they can be bought with coin. That's our discussion. That's our stream. Guys, it's been wonderful. Thank you, all of you who continue to support us. Anonymous Phil, Delagrammaticus, Pimley, Jamin, Nikki, Crypto, Skycat, Dragonborn, Watt, Chris, Kim, Michael, Candace, Tyler, Amanda. Have a great day, all. It's been a pleasure. Reminder, we do stream Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, Thursday, Friday, Sunday evenings are Tessel. Saturday evenings are our RPG game. I'm gonna sneeze, so take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye.